Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video, we have discussed about high level on the scheduler and the jobs, right? So jobs are the independent modules which have a specific task to do and the scheduler is something which will, you know, take up these jobs and it will execute based on the job details and the trigger information that will pass, right? So in this video, we are going to, you know, set up the scheduler and set up the jobs so that in our next two videos we can schedule them easily okay so uh, i am here at my quasi learnings uh, project so let's create a package uh, called scheduler and one more package called jobs okay something like job okay so first let's create a job first let's say like uh, first job okay so as a class and this class jobs needs to implement implements job uh, interface here okay so this interface is coming from the squatch and here you need to you know implement a execute method that's all you need to do in here you need to write all your business logic okay so let's say like the first one so let's say like uh, first job in quad scheduler scheduler so so whenever you schedule a job this method will get executed whatever they in this piece of you know piece of lines will get executed okay since i am not drawing anything here i can remove this line okay uh, this is how you can create a job if you want to have more information you just create some methods uh, some functions and call them from here okay so here the job is nothing but interface will have one method called execute which you need to implement it now let's go to a scheduler okay let's create a class called let's say main scheduler okay this is my main scheduler here since i already have a uh, yeah one more thing i forgot okay so here this is a job right we need to keep it as a component here so that so that spring will identify this as a component and it will you know in the uh, when the spring starts it will automatically load this okay similarly this one as well let me keep it as a service okay and since i already have a project lumber here i can use rlx constructor directly so that i can auto valve my scheduler okay so private final uh, scheduler called scheduler okay so if you go into the scheduler here there were some methods like shutdown is there and starts and when you have schedule a job you know uh, we are talking about one method at schedule here right so this is the one i'm talking about if you go here this one so for that you need to have a job details and trigger information okay that will slowly build okay and you can start you can you know stop the server always okay so main main thing is it needs to start it so that it can execute other jobs right so for that purpose i'll do like pre you know post construct annotation when this bean gets created this piece of code will get executed something like public wide start schedule piece of code will get executed and my scheduler will get start from here scheduler dot start method will be there okay so if you just put it in a try catch or you can throw my suggestion is put it in try catch yeah this should be sufficient post construct similarly when this bin is getting destroyed i need to close my scheduler right so for that i will use pre destroy annotation and uh, public void close scheduler okay 
scheduler something like this so here as well scheduler dot something like you know stop you have no shutdown you have it yeah you can use shutdown here directly and this as well you need to put it in the try catch that's it okay so this is about your uh, scheduler okay and when it needs to you know schedule let's give it a method called public as of now let's keep it as wide you know schedule job ch schedule schedule job okay this job needs to use scheduler dot schedule job right so it needs to use two things job details and the trigger information okay so how i can get the job details and how i can get the trigger information okay something like job details and the trigger information okay trigger info that we will see in our next video guys i hope this until now it's useful for you guys if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe